Hi, my name's Nick Jeffries of New Projects and you're watching New Weekly, episode 25. I'm just outside our first viewing, which is a ground floor apartment. And the client has come to New because she wants a basement under the footprint of her property. The building regulations in June 2022 are changing. They're an interim step towards the government's target of net zero carbon emissions for homes. What does it mean for you as an investor or as a homeowner? It means that there'll be an impact on your construction budget and your professional fees. It's Monday morning and it's off to a good start already. I'm just outside our first viewing, which is a ground floor apartment, and the client has come to New because she wants a basement under the footprint of her property. It hasn't got planning approval, so I've brought along Will O'Brien, our architect. Let's go in and take a look. <laughs> the A team is back. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Unfortunately, I couldn't take any video because there was a young child in the property, but um, the lady wants a basement under the garden and a full internal remodel inside. Will will be getting back to her by Friday with a few concept design layouts and I will get a budget estimate back to her as well. I'm just heading back to the office. So you'll never believe what has just happened. The bloody Range Rover has broken down right in the middle of the road. It says gearbox fault. I'm absolutely peed right off. Now, AA said he's going to be with me in about 55 minutes and um, I'm just walking back to the office go and get the smart and I'll come back when the AA is here bloody nightmare So I'm just in the car waiting for Mr. AA to finish his diagnostics. It's looking like the car may have to go in to get fixed. I'm not happy because I've got a bloody important meeting tomorrow and I would have had to pick up the client in the rangey. So they will give me a courtesy car, but it ain't gonna be nothing special. I've managed to get the motor to Battersea Range Rover and now they've told me they've got 29 cars booked in in front of mine. It looks like it's going to be off the road for a good two weeks. Enterprise Hire Company are dropped me down a loan car. Fingers crossed it's going to be a nice one.
I'm Will O'Brien. I'm an architect based in West London. I grew up in West Kensington, so I know the area very well. I've been doing architecture for 15 years and all my work has been focused on creating new homes for people and renovating existing homes. I started working for a family friend who had his own architecture practice just to see if it would actually interest me. Um, I started studying at the same time in architecture in East London and from there it grew, his practice grew and together we started building and designing uh, grade listed buildings in um, Marlebone. I signed up to the RIBA about two years ago. Before then I was working for bigger practices. Yeah. So they all had REBA chartered membership. The stamp of the RIBA yeah. gives you uh, a, cr a credo that you're able to do the work. You have a higher standard than architects that are not REBA approved. To be RIBA uh, chartered, you need to pay your fees, you need to adhere to a code of conduct, a code of practice, you need to be delivering your service in a specific way to guarantee the best service for your clients. So as everyone is now aware, we have climate change, the environment is changing around us. In, in order to kind of combat that, the UK government has put together the Future Home Standards. Um, these are changes to building regulations in the UK. Those regulations are changing fully by 2025. There's an interim change happening in 2023, and this change is kind of starting in June 2022. So we have to get planning applications in by June 2022 if we don't want to be subject to the more onerous building control changes. All of the cost we provide at, at NU and as, as professionals is based on years of experience, uh, decades of experience between us. The cost when the new regulations come into practice is unknown. We won't know how much uh, the energy saving targets will actually impact your, your project budget. The build cost will be cheaper now than after the building control changes. At New Projects we do all of the services under one banner. So you don't have to try and negotiate with your architect separately from your contractor, separately from your structural engineer. We do that all under one roof, a turnkey solution. So your project is handled and all your liability is handled under one kind of roof. So the, the, the new building regulations are focused on starting at June 2022. If you submit your planning application before June 2022 and start your build before June 2023, you will not have to adhere to the new standards. The new standards will mean that you'll have to have a higher specification of windows, doors, walls, and roofs. Now this might just be if you're living in a grade listed property, if you're living in a conservation area, and you need to get planning application to change your windows to have a better thermal efficiency, you will have to provide a better standard of thermal efficiency. Um, if you're adding an extension to your home, this will be the same case. You'll have to provide a higher energy efficiency of windows, doors, and roof. The basements will have to conform to the new building regulations in terms of what their thermal efficiency is. If you uh, take many of our projects, for example, there's usually a light well, either at the front of the house or at the back of the house for the basement. That, that glazing uh, element to the basement would have to meet the new energy efficient standards. The, the, the building control changes affect all thermal elements of the building. So if you consider what are your thermal elements, your windows, your doors, the walls and the roof, anything that encloses the space. There is an uplifting cost for construction. Now there is savings to be made for running your energy costs, savings to be made to uh, impact on the environment, which we are all concerned about. The, the balance that has to be struck with how much is your budget, can you afford to build in extra sustainability, or 
Are you going to push that down the line? Are you investing in property? Are you adding value to your property? Or is this property a long-term home for you and your family? You wouldn't have to insulate existing structures if you were replacing the windows on your home, your Victorian or Jordan home those windows would have to meet the new energy performance standards being brought in by the building regulations. We have had discussions with local manufacturers and regional manufacturers of windows and they are aware of the building control changes and there will be uh, price differences between what you can buy a kind of conservation sash window now, double or triple glazed, versus what that will cost uh, following June 2022. We're not quite sure what the cost implication will be. There's very little research done on what the cost implication will be because of the nature of a building project. You know, they're, they're usually quite unique. They're usually very complex in terms of how it will be built can be different from project to project. The building regulations in June 2022 are changing. They're an interim step towards the government's target of net zero carbon emissions for homes. What does it mean for you as an investor or as a homeowner? It means that there'll be an impact on your construction budget and your professional fees. The changes aren't necessarily all bad. The end goal is to improve the uh, energy efficiency of your home over the long term, saving you energy costs. Over the short term, it will increase your budget. If that is the critical price point for you, contact New Projects today. What a stressful week it has been. Apologise, I haven't been online uh, recording our daily new weekly because it's been very stressful. Monday, with the breakdown of the Range Rover in the middle of the road, was an absolute nightmare. The car was towed into Range Rover and um, I picked up a Lexus. Ain't very nice. I know that's a little bit snobby, but it's nothing compared to the rangy. So that is now going to be off the road for two weeks. So I've got the Lexus. It is a hybrid, so better fuel consumption. But as I said, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, offline completely. Problems everywhere, um, which is all part of business, isn't it? Uh, Claudia uh, was over from Hungary. Um, yesterday so she has now started our NU Projects TikTok account so don't forget if you're on TikTok head over there and follow us because we have got two posts and 81 followers 14 likes in two days that ain't too bad Zoltan really is it mm -hmm. so on the first video we got 203 the second video we got nothing because it's been uploaded about half an hour ago um, so, weekend's here. We can draw a line under what went on this week and just move forward. Um, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and share, and we'll see you next week. See ya.